Good evening, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Okay, as far as I know, everything has been set up, so we are pretty much good to go. You're just going to have to excuse the timer. The timer is a little bit wrong. I just want to send out a notification quickly. Okay, that has been posted. Okay, that's clearly wrong. Okay, I switch over to the main game. Let's turn that sound on. And everything at this point should be good to go. Okay, so welcome everybody to the stream. Quick little recap of the normal formalities. For those of you that are not aware, all of my past live streams do get posted onto my YouTube channel. So showing some love over there would mean a lot to me. Go subscribe, go turn on the notifications, and that way if you miss any of my past live streams, you can catch it up over there. If you are new to the chat, if you are new to this live stream, pop in chat, say hey, everybody's welcome. Come and interact a little bit. And also going to ask that you kindly reach out to friends, family, share this on your social media platforms. Let's help grow this little community. So, tonight we are taking the next steps on our Risk of Rain 2 journey. So, off screen, off of stream, I went ahead and got the, the melee character. The melee only <laughs> character. And I also went and got Multi. A little robot that shoots some shit. What we're going to try... Keyword, what we're gonna try and get to tonight is the engineer. It's gonna be a bitch though because we need to complete 30 stages. Now, after I die, it's perfectly fine, but I can't die before wave 30, stage 30. And I think the easiest way we're gonna try and get that character. Is by just switching over to um, drizzle difficulty, turning on the artifact of command, grabbing our melee character, and seeing what we can do with it. So let's read up and let's go. remember that I was ever the fan of this character but we're gonna see I haven't been having too much luck with the other characters so who knows 
Maybe this one is a change of luck for me. Obviously, one of the very first glaring problems that we can see we're having is closing the gap. Let's grab this and let's get some range on me instantly. I can do better this time. Okay, so one of the first things you want to grab is if we can is this. So now when we run, we gain health, not when we're standing still. So, for those of you that are curious, there are some things in the works for us to try and make the community a little bit better. Um, I am trying to set up a Discord at the moment. I do have one or two people helping with that. Just to make sure that everything is set up nicely. A place where we can all get together, we can share shit. A place where everyone can come together when the streams are not going. Still busy working on that, but the moment that that is up and running, I will let everybody know. And then we can go and show some love over there. First thing, let's get some gasoline. We need to get some critical strike going. this because I have to keep bridging a gap and I feel like that damage is gonna kill me at some point because I have to end up taking quite a couple of hits before we actually get to the point where that's good so I think we need to get our life sorted out very quickly so I think first thing is flat damage reduction is fine let's get a bit of a temporary barrier on kill might make our survivability a lot better. Damage is really horrible on this. And it's slow. Very fucking slow. Okay, let's see if we can't move on very, very quickly from this. I 
don't think this is going to be the character that we make it through all the way to the end, but I could be wrong. Just going to get some movement speed, because I feel like we're going to have to move. There's going to be a lot of moving that has to take place. Hey, Maestro, how are you doing this evening, man? You were asking about a melee-only character? There you go. Hey, JJ. How you doing, bud? So, JJ, I did get your message about the Discord. I did assign the role to you. It's just a case of giving all the permissions so you can make the changes that need be. Um... I need a ukulele so I can transfer the damage to other classes. I think it might be easier uh, if Maestro has the time as well. Maybe at some point, maybe tomorrow, sometime later this week, or whenever everybody can come together. If the two of if we actually go into a call off of stream, so that we can discuss what we want it to look like, so I can make sure that all the correct permissions are there. working on until 10 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah, no worries at all, man. Definitely want this, and we want to grab that. Will of the Wisp. So now every single attack, they explode as well. Get some more damage out of each attack. And I need to find the teleporter event. I've wasted enough time I'm trying to look for this. I just don't know where the teleporter is. And I'm kind of hoping that it ain't up there. Because I can't remember how to get up there. Nice. Oh yeah, I think I made it to the top. Okay, I've got zero idea where the teleport is. Teleporter ain't up here. Can't go any further up. Is that door open? Okay, it's probably down there. It's probably through that door. The one place I thought it might be, it's not. Yeah, it's the Fortnite game again. I, st I, I still can't believe you guys call this Fortnite. Like, what about it makes you think Fortnite? Like, it's a 2D character, but this game has got more depth than Fortnite. <laughs> Uh, what did you say about a voice call? Now, what I was saying is that at some point, either uh, tomorrow or sometime this week, uh, it might be a good idea for the three of us to get together in a call. Uh, JJ has offered his lovely assistance in helping me set up a Discord. Why? Why don't you want to join us? Are you shy? <laughs> the 
Okay, I've got to see it, but I'm like, I don't know where this teleporter is. Wow. Wow, I see. That's how it is. <laughs> Man's like, nah. I'm here enough. I don't need to offer this individual any more assistance. <laughs> Well, that's just it. At the end of the day, it will always remain voluntary. You want to help? You help. You don't want to help? You don't want to help. I'm not going to hold it against anybody. Like, I'm still in the first zone. I seriously can't believe that I can't find the teleporter. I think what I also want to do is I want to grab this. And the worst thing is I'm not even seeing the particles that normally show where the teleport is. Uh, you force him to use what we give him when I have permissions, I'll sign him the, the bot roll. <laughs> well, I mean, if that's all the involvement he's going to have, I mean, why not? He clearly says he's not interested. <laughs> Do you guys see, like, fucking... It's not down there. Either I'm being blind as fuck or I don't have a teleporter. I highly doubt it's that one because there's always a teleporter. Can't get up there. You can't get down there. At this point, I've spent so much time trying to find the teleport that it might just be easier to restart the run. Okay, like seriously, what the fuck? Because you've got a sword. <laughs> so, one of the things about the melee build is, because it's obviously single target and you have to get up and close, you have to get things that are going to spread the damage relatively well amongst the rest of the targets. So, the Yekulele next to the hoof on top the ukulele basically makes it so when i hit something and um, there's a certain percentage chance that whatever damage i applied to that target spreads to another target first the clip from last night off the master lift wait what clip did i miss something Melee splash support. Yep, that's 100% what it is. <laughs> Melee splash support with multi strike along with a little bit of uh, damage over time. Okay, you know what? This is stupid. I can't find the fucking teleporter. I'm not going to keep wasting time. Because the longer I sit there, the harder I'm going to make it for myself the next round. So I'm just going to go with. What's going to be the best option for us to get to the later rounds? Let's just grab the guy with this gun. The rail gun.
quality club. Wait, what? I'm confused. In Discord. Oh. God damn it, brother. <laughs> Okay, so that's like a massive like discharge. Okay, I haven't played with this character much, so I didn't know what I just did. Okay, found the teleporter. Now I just need some upgrades. Well, the Discord already exists. It's just it's got nothing in it. It's pretty bare at the moment. This would be good for this. Get that stuff in it now. Ooh, I need to go have a look. I need to go look at the dodgy shit you're posting. bones but it's something hey i mean it's it's a start i mean rome wasn't built overnight so it's gonna take a couple of things before we actually get to the point where we want it to be but it's a start for now um i want let's take the ukulele as always That's kind of cool. Very way to get yourself dead very quickly, but yeah. Hold on. I can pause. Let me have a look at what you've posted, you good sir. Flips and highlights. <laughs> Flip the sign for his W like he's smacking S. And I died. You jinxed me. You horrible <laughs> little bitch. You jinxed me. <laughs> oh, no, I remember that. That was when you jinxed me last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Uh, so we definitely want to apply some bleed. It shoots fast enough for the bleed to be viable. Definitely want to grab the sprint. So, Maestro, what was the thing about a build that's nice because it doesn't require me to aim? Like I had to prove my point right there. <laughs> now watch me miss like the next 11 shots. Let's take a repair. It's a turn. It's a turret gunner. 
So he's just gonna follow me around through to all the maps. And he's just gonna lay down some extra fire. Uh, let's grab some more bleed. The hitbox seems forgiving. <laughs> so difficult for Marshall to give a compliment. He's like, nah, I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, Marshall. We still like you. Uh, the teleporter was around here somewhere. I can't remember where it was now. And there it is. Found it. Fight the boss, so I'm fighting. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Not a horrible start. I think I'm gonna grab, just in case. I'm gonna grab another ukulele just to make sure that the damage spreads nicely. And there's a coin over there that I definitely want to get. I want to go grab that coin and then we can head on to the next next section. Oh shit, I got two lunar coins. Oh fuck me. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so we need to go to wave 30. It does your flat cannon also apply bleed? Uh, no. I have got the two bleed skills. So I've got a 20% chance to apply bleed at this moment. Is it 20%? Yeah, so it's 10% um, on each one of those daggers. And then the increased attack speed. I think the increased attack speed is 15% per. Next thing I want is, I think it's that, additional equipment charge reduces equipment cooldown, yes. That was supposed to be in front of me. Like, it's weird to explain. Like, it maybe might not be the most interesting to watch. And I, if that is the case, like, I really do apologize. But it really is a lot of fun the moment you actually have a build that comes together.
Oh, I did not know that pierces. I missed that. Right in front of me. Never mind, Master. You might be right. I might just suck at Amy. Have I got the money for this yet? Yes, I do. Okay, it's another green. So I definitely want to start doing this one. Which is... I, Whenever I deal damage, I heal. That's going to help my survivability later on. Okay, so let's actually grab a boot so that my guy can start being a little bit faster. Life on hit or life leech? Uh, life on hit. Yeah, so it reads. I'll show you now. So that um, dealing damage heals you. So it's life leech. Sorry, not life on hit. I thought you meant life on whenever I hit enemies. Yeah, it's life leech. Um, we now want some protection. So now I get a golden barrier over my health whenever I kill something. However, right now it's not going to be that noticeable because there aren't that many enemies. But as the enemy is difficult, or as the enemy amount ramps up, it's definitely going to be noticeable. There is a stat I will look afterwards because I think in the logbook it will tell me like exactly the details as to how much exactly per hit it heals. But obviously the more you collect, the more it stacks, meaning the more you heal. This is definitely going to become... Fuck what I want, what I want, what I want. Um, I'm going to grab this for now. It's based on the amount of damage that you hit. So I'll try and test it now. If I can get a target somewhere. Okay, so one shot that hits, I got... What was it? So I got one damage per hit. So I'm getting one health per hit on the enemy. So if I stack another one... Ooh, I got another red. That's very nice. Um, I think the next one I want is... Shit, let's go for the luck. Double the strength of healing. So now... Now I'm getting almost 13. No, it's okay. okay. So now because it was doubled per hit, I'm now getting two. Two life per hit. Start the event. Uh, let's grab another one of them. Now I gain four. Yeah, so it's duplicative. Yes. Like, if you understand the mechanics of what the hell's going on, you can make some sick builds. Obviously, in the beginning, you won't have this that I've got right now. Um, just simply based on the fact that you need the artifact of command first. Otherwise, you're going to get completely random items as you play. But I can at least somewhat control what build I'm going for at this point.
Okay, now all my shit's gonna be going to XP. Uh, JJ, how much do you know about like setting up Discord shit and that kind of stuff? Is there a way that I can set it up that whenever I post on um, either Twitter or YouTube or something like that, that the posts automatically get transferred to the Discord as well? Is there a way that we can do that? Oh, nice. So I can spend a metric fuck ton of information just to get a information about the map, but don't need that. Not right now at least, that's something we can focus on later. So what I can do is I can come over here, I can use this, it's going to take away 50% of my health, but it's going to give me a metric fuck ton of, um, uh, what was it, a metric fuck ton of money. But now the nice thing is, so, this ability that I've got over here, this one, the weeping fungus, so... I've corrupted it, so basically overclocked it. I've corrupted it, so instead of standing still, it heals me. It's now a case of I get heals when I sprint. So as long as I am sprinting, I'm healing. And then I'm also getting heals from um, hitting the enemies. You can set events in the Discord too, even if it wasn't a stream, say a movie night, I don't know, with dates, times, etc. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so next thing we want to start doing is just go for a bit more critical damage. So that when I do hit those snipes, they can do quite a bit more damage. Okay, so we know where the teleporter is. It's one of the easiest places to remember. I just need to find a couple more chests. Then we can come and move on. So you can speed run through the teleporters and just try and get to the later levels as quickly as possible. The problem is you're not going to have the equipment to carry you. So you want to spend some time in each area getting upgrades, but not too much time to the point where when you do move over to the next area, you're underleveled. Because the top counter there in the top right, it just keeps going. It doesn't stop moving upwards. Okay, so we want some more health. Actually, I want some bit more movement speed first. And then what have I got? I don't know what's the left inside here for me to get. It's one creature. Okay, so now we've got some chests. Let's grab some bleed. Get up to 30%. Don't die from falling. Yeah. I will try my best not to. Luckily, this game is very forgiving with the damage you take from falling. Like, you can fall a pretty decent distance. Without dying. But yeah, you will eventually fall and die. Okay, so these are what I'm looking for. These are modifiers. Oh no, that was just a normal... Well, prove me wrong, why don't you?
Normally there's more than two. Really? So I got zero corrupted items from that. Okay. Another green item. So I think from this point we're going to start looking at getting some support. Wait, what do I have? I've only currently only got... I've got no Will of the Wisps. Okay, definitely want a Will of the Wisp. So Will of the Wisps basically makes it when they die, they've got a little pop. That little pop obviously spreads to other enemies, especially if you've got something like gasoline, which I do not. So I think it's about time we grab a gasoline. Hail the Bash. Yeah. I think in every single way or form, though, every one of these skills can be translated to PoE in some form or way. I just want to spend quite a bit of the money that I had on this thing. See if we can't get maybe two or three. Nothing. Something. Uh, what do I want? Okay, I think I'm first I'm gonna take is that that's the bleed that I want I want one more bleed and then I'm on 50% and I'll be happy Okay, bleed is on 50% I'm good on that I don't want to get too stuck on the same thing Okay, we're good. Let's move on I can do this as well. So I'm gonna spend a lunar coin on that The reason I want that is because I want that thing so this brittle crown gain gold on hit so now instead of just getting life as soon as i hit something i'm gaining gold as well however when i get hit obviously i lose gold as well but eventually we're going to get to the point where if i get hit i die so there's no real point in worrying about that so the more money i can make the better it is because that means if i come across a chest <laughs> okay, main boss is dead transfer everything over and let's start getting some of this so whenever I take damage there's a chance that a razor wire shoots out around me Okay, so we've only got one gasoline, so I definitely want to get minimum two more Will of the Wisps. Will of the Wisps. I want to get a minimum of three more gasolines. I want to at least get another four more critical um, glasses. And then everything else at that point is mostly going to go into attack speed, movement, and heals. And we're done. <laughs> well, as long as you understand it, whatever you have to do to get to that point, by all means. And these things are great as well, so I'm going to try and benefit from it as soon as I can. So these are the ones that corrupt existing things to make changes to them. Or they just blow up and give you nothing.
Okay, finally. Okay, so I definitely want... Fuck, I can't remember which one it is. Let's grab this. I'm gonna die. So, while you have a shield, file missiles on every hit. Corrupts, uh... Okay, so corrupts the ATG missile. Nice. So now I'm firing missiles along with the normal attacks. And as you can see, I'm building up cash a lot faster now. So I wanted to start getting some movement speed so I can start moving around a lot quicker. Okay, I found the teleporter. Okay, one more movement speed and we should be good on the movement speed for now. Now we can start working on the two gasolines that I need. Gasoline's gonna spread nicely. One more gasoline. Always needing gas. Always. It's more precious than gold nowadays. Gonna spend some cash on this. Okay, so one went down. Nothing went down. Nothing. So that's third wasted. No cash. On this, we're just gonna grab some more ATG missiles. Because now I've got ATG missiles whenever I shoot. So we can unlock that one. Don't have the cash for that one. So let's kill this big guy. Okay, so we need one more gasoline. Okay, now we start with the criticals. Grab the critical. I'm taking damage. I'm burning. You see how it slowly but surely starts ramping up? And this is stage 4. I need to get to stage 30 to unlock the engineer. Let's grab another turret. Let's unlock another one of these. Let's grab another missile. More cash. Unlock another chest. We need some more glasses. Okay, I think we've spent enough time here. Yeah? Let's go back to the teleporter. That's my goal. That's what I'm trying to get to. I want to get the engineer because I want to show you how fucking ridiculously overpowered the engineer is. This thing seems to have some charges left. Nothing. Anything left. There's one. That's it for me. Let's grab another critical glasses. And we're good. Oh, and I never picked this one up. Okay, so now we've got four critics. Critics. Critics? Critics for fuck's sakes. Start the event. Okay, big boss, dead. Let's get some more heals. I 
I want to get that before we leave. That's a repair drone. Man wasn't even finished loading in yet and he was dead. So one of the mods that I would definitely recommend to people to download is to make the um, the teleporter load faster. Because I sometimes shit you hanging around you waiting for that thing to complete. Come on, get done. It's done. So now we've got a healing drone and two gun toads that will come to us with every single round. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Thank you. It's a nice bit of quick cash. We now want. Let's grab another bottle, and then after that we need another two more ukuleles when we get greens. But I now need to start getting the prisms and the shields. So, prism. Quick way to get myself across. What are you guys up to this evening? Master, I'm guessing you're playing PoE. That's not the one I wanted to choose, but I've got it now. And JJ, you're either reading or you're chilling. I'm watching some African goof around in Fortnite. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> That's not very polite of you. <laughs> chilling. Okay, so another ukulele is what I wanted. more prisms I'll grab one more prism one more and then I can start with the shields don't have the cash for that I can start with the shields. And then we can start with some flat damage reduction. Then the teddy base. Then I should be good on life. And yes, you heard me right. I said teddy base. Got another red. We are definitely taking. Now all our rounds explode. I don't know what it's called. What is that called? It is called the Brilliant Behemoth. Okay, I already think what we gained from this round is good. We just need to move on. Find the teleporter. Obviously, any chests we come along across the way is going to just benefit us.
if we want to, we can, while we're here, because this is the map that you do it on, we can go downstairs again and we can do another artifact trial and maybe get the artifact that doubles the enemies but halves their health. So but there's even more shit to shoot at. Uh, shields. That seems counterproductive for this specific build. Yeah, no, granted. It's more so just so that you have the artifact for a later stage. For something that rips a lot better. But yeah. Uh, does anybody see There's some floating particles anywhere? I know, not the big yellow dude. Did we see the teleporter on this map anyway? I can't remember if we ran past it already or not. Oh, that was count, but I could... No! Oh, shit. I thought for a moment it threw me off. Spend some money that I don't have. That's two that gave me nothing. That's three that gave me nothing. Finally got a fourth one. Let's go for another. All of the wisp. Okay, so here's okay, that's already one of our drones. Uh let's go with another shield. Okay, so now we've got four shields. And four of the create the barrier thingies now we need flat health which is the stakes and then we need damage reduction but seriously though where the hell is the teleporter ah there we go there's all the particles that means the teleporter is either down there or up there somewhere okay i know where to go There we go. There's the teleporter. So, when the teleporter looks like this, this technically takes you to the end game fight. But I don't want the end game fight. I want the non stop onslaught because I have to get to wave 30. The stage 30. Well, that was fucking intense. Uh, let's grab this.
Okay, in four consecutive stages, don't need the teleport radius until it's fully charged. Okay, so that's a new thing that we unlocked. I don't think we'll have it available to us this round. So, some of the upgrades that we can get, you can only unlock after achieving a certain something. And as you can see, now we're back at one of the starting levels. But now it's costing almost 238 to open up a simple chest. Big money, nice and quickly. Um, what are we looking? Okay, now we need to start on the teddy bears. Chance to block incoming damage. I can't remember the percentage, so I want to get about six or seven teddies. And you'll actually hear, like, if I get hit and the teddy actually takes effect, it actually sounds like a squeaking teddy. On this, we're gonna want to start doing whip, move fast out of combat. Okay, so we know the teleporter is not up here. Okay, so the pe teleporter is there, so I know where it is. Let's go and find some shit. I'm gonna grab another one of these. We're gonna grab an. Do I want the vertebrae? I can't remember what these things do. I'm just gonna take another one of these, which gives us even more gold when we hit an enemy now, but we're gonna lose even more, obviously, if we get hit. But we should be making some good money now. Meaning we won't have problems with chests. Okay, we want another teddy. And at this point, it's where it roughly starts speeding up. My movement speed's a lot faster. I'm going to get it to be even faster than what it currently is. But as a result of that, you're going to see we're going to start moving through the levels a lot faster now as well. There's another healing drone just in case. Is there a chest over here? There's one chest. Grab another teddy. I'm gonna grab these two chests and then we're good. One more teddy and last teddy. Last teddy. So even if that was 10% per teddy, we've now got a 60% in damage, a 60% chance of blocking incoming damage. We're now gonna focus on increasing the bleed a little bit more, increasing the Critical strike a bit more. Take another Will of the Wisp. Now we've got three of those.
I was wondering if you can actually shoot those creatures. Oh my god, you can. Why do I suddenly feel both guilty and impressed? I did not know you could actually kill those things. <laughs> I feel guilty. <laughs> Just sniped some innocent creature from halfway across the map. <laughs> With chest right behind us, did we see a big? Yes, we see a queen. Okay, she's dead, and we should have the money now ready for the first chest. Damn, well, very, very early night for you, but no worries at all. I mean, being up since 6 a.m., I can fully understand and fully respect that. I hope you get a good night's rest, my man. You deserve it. Thank you very much again for being here. I do appreciate it. I know that anything outside of uh, PoE is normally not your cup of tea. I am obviously trying to diversify as much as I can. And I appreciate the patience. <laughs> but either way, thank you for being here, man. You're enjoying this. I'm glad. I really am glad to hear that. And uh, one second more of that. So that is receive a flat damage reduction from all attacks. Got another red. Now we are going to. What's this? This is new to me. Your critical strikes deal an additional 100% damage. So I definitely need to make sure that my glasses. I need to get more critical glasses and I've got a better critical strike chance. And then I need some sodas, some hooves. Let's grab the hoof straight away. Okay, so at least I know where the event is. Ah, uh, this shouldn't kill me. Shouldn't kill me. There we go. I see there's a chest over here, and I know on that island normally there's about two or three chests. I want to maximize getting as many chests as I can right now. What was I going for? Um, oh yeah, uh, one of those. And then now I want to focus on getting as many of those glasses as I can. I think those glasses have got a cap on them, so I want to maybe grab two more. And that's all I'm wasting on glasses further. all my money on this thing because it ain't gonna give me shit like always that's three that's four that's five oh my god did it really fuck me over five times okay all my money just went there and i couldn't do shit about it I do have a chest like here right in front of me i want to grab some more bleeding that way my bleeding is up to 60 percent One more bleed. Okay, the bleed is going to be maxed out for now. 
Let's get back to the top over there. And let's take it from there. So, JJ. Uh, touching base on what we mentioned earlier on. And uh, when would you like to have that call? When's it gonna shoot you? I don't know what your week looks like. If it's gonna be too difficult this week, that's perfectly fine as well. Okay, my glass is on seven, my bleed is on seven. I need to get my attack speed up a bit more. But we're good to start the event. I should be able to rip through this boss relatively easy. Bosses. Okay, bosses are dead. Let's grab a feather. The feather just allows me a double jump. We 3,000 enemies. Okay. We've got a new item as well. What are you thinking of the game so far, JJ? Fully charged teleport without getting hit. Now that we've got the magazine, that's big. But I don't know if we'll have the magazine available to us in this round. Oh, the question was, what do you think of the game? Is the game too loud? Do you want me to turn it down so you can hear my voice better? Is that better now? Okay, cool. Complete 30 stages. There we go. Oh, so it was 30 stages in total, not 30 stages in one run. Well, fuck me. Okay, I had that wrong. So we've got the engineer now. Okay, we're going to grab attack speed. Oh god, what more do I have to kill inside this area? There we go, that's what I was looking for. So these things are the big modifiers. I need more beverages though, so I'll be back. Go for it, my man. Grab it. I'll see you in a bit. Uh, let's do that. I don't actually want to crit my... Um, overclock my glasses. Overclock? What the fuck? Um, do I have the magazine available to me? No, I do not. What did I want? I've got the teddy bear. Uh, let's start with 
Fuck, I wish I had the magazine, but the magazine's only going to be available now from the next round. Because I only unlocked it now. Got a magic fuck ton of cash. Yeah, I still don't know where the teleporter is. Found it. There's the particles. Okay, let's grab one more of these. Okay, we've got the basis of everything set up. Now we just need to put it all together. Okay, so we're going to grab one more bleed. That means my bleed is up to 80%. Let's grab a crit. That's who my crit is up to 80%. The boss fight quickly and let's see how this goes. I can't get to the boss fight. Okay, so that was a very interesting fight, and I'm guessing that my prize is going to be on the top level. Yep, there it is. I never know what the yellow ones are. Hold on, I need to check this. I don't actually know what the yellow ones are. Let's go right into the yellow drops. Uh, yellow. So there's 16 yellow items. Okay, monster spawns an alpha construct. Every 30 seconds, summons two soul probes. Okay. Increase max mouth by 40 and base generation by... Okay. So there's a couple of things that we that are good options. But by the looks of it, this one is not bad. Okay, so then I think we've achieved the goal that we wanted to. We got the engineer. All we need to do now is obliterate this character. And I think I'm pretty close. I think I have one more stage to do. The next stage I need to complete. And then I can obliterate this character. Oh no, I think I can obliterate him now. The Celestial Portal.
there we go so after stage eight in the beginning of stage nine you get this area this area there's no fight over here this area is where you can end your run with it not counting as a death so all you got to do is just make your way all the way down to the bottom not do what i just did okay i nearly died let's get myself to heal a little bit more it's a good thing i heal when i sprint That was nearly very fucking stupid. Okay, and there we go. This is our big ass obelisk. Go to the obelisk. Obliterate yourself. We say yes, please. And then it kills us. And that's the run over, but it's a successful one. So it doesn't count as we died. And now we've unlocked a few things. Including the engineer. So while that's busy, I just want to check something. So let's have a look at the new shit that I got. So, um, the logbook. The reason why I said that the magazine was so good, why I personally liked it so much, where is it now? Oh, I haven't picked it up yet. It's right there, but I need to pick it up first. Fuck. Okay, I'm going to do something very stupid. I'm just going to grab the Huntress. I'm just going to pick up the first item that I can. I just want to pick up. Oh, really? So it gives me a green. I need a yellow. Sorry, I need a normal plain bitch item that's a trial of the mountain I'm not stupid enough to do that just yet That's done. Come on, just a normal yellow white item. Thank you very much. Get an extra charge of your secondary skill. So that now means that disc that I throw, have a quiet tea. I'm glad you got some tea, brother. So I can throw it once and I can follow it straight away. Nice. Okay, I'm purposely going to let myself die, because I just wanted to pick it up so I can grab the logbook for it. What tea did you grab, JJ? That's a very important question. Is like some herbal tea? Is it Earl Grey? Yorkshire tea. Are you from the UK by any chance? <laughs> I 
Isn't there a YouTuber that absolutely fucking loves Yorkshire tea? Isn't it the spiffing Brit? <laughs> okay, I would not have made like the direct comparison that you might actually be from Yorkshire. I just assumed. <laughs> okay, so the reason why I could do this because I wanted to check this. So backup magazine adds plus one charge of your secondary skill so that means if my secondary is something that's decently powerful if i've got five of these i can spam that five times and that's coupled with now the next one is a bit harder to get because this one is adds a plus to charge of your utility skill while good trying to find red items are a little bit harder now, as you can see, there's still... So, all the ones that are blacked out are items that we already unlocked. We just haven't used them in a run yet. All the ones that have still got locks on them... ...is obviously stuff we still need to get to. Now, they do explain to you what you need to do. So, for example, this one over here. I need to reach a 200% attack speed. So, now you can start going into every single run. Instead of trying to... Um, go as far as you can you're going in them just to complete the tasks so what i would do is going into this i would now just keep grabbing those syringes keep grabbing the syringes so for example we could do a run like this so we go single player again i'm going to skip the engineer for now i'm going to go back to this guy we're going to run the commando same artifact on easy no problem but we're going specifically now to get that 200 percent attack speed so i'm only going to pick up three three items is all i'm gonna pick up i'm going to pick up the bleed and the attack speed and the boots and uh, the hoof to make me run faster that's it that's all i'm picking up the hoofs i might only pick up like two or like three or four the bleed i might only pick up seven Everything else is going to go into the bleed. Until the bleed is capped out. Once the bleed is capped out, then we're going to go into critical. All we're trying to do is just get as much attack speed out. So very first thing, attack speed. We want to try and get to that 200%. And Commando, if I'm not mistaken, already starts at the base attack speed that's pretty decent. I think it's the fastest out of all the classes. I think I could be very wrong on that. And just to give myself somewhat of a chance, I'm just... No, I'm not going to buy that. All my money that I've got now needs to go towards... Attack speed and bleed. So purchased one more into the attack speed. Now we need to get into the... Let's grab a bleed. So, dumb question, JJ. Were you, like, born in Yorkshire, or did you immigrate there? Only reason I ask that is because, like, I know so many people that aren't from the countries or places that they live in now. Born and raised. Okay, nice. I 
I guess it's pretty clear by my accent and everything, you know, that I was not born in the Netherlands. <laughs> Okay, so right now we are just trying to get to 200% um, attack speed. So we aren't going to try and survive. We aren't going to try and do anything. We literally just, all of my skills are going to go into attack speed and bleed. Because, um, I don't know if you were listening when I explained earlier on. There's some skills that I haven't unlocked yet. And I only access those skills by completing certain tasks. And one of those tasks that I need to complete is reaching 200% attack speed. All we're going to get from this one is attack while healing. Because you can imagine if we are going to be shooting at 200% attack speed, how much health we're going to get from just hitting enemies. Yeah, it's the Queen Beetle thingy. She's kind of nasty, but one of the much easier bosses that you can get. The boss that I hate the worst, most is the Jellyfish. Because it's got this big AoE thing that can almost one-shot your ass. And then um, the main boss, the, the storyline boss, if you want to call him that. You can actually get your own beetle. It's a very rare drop, but it's a purple, it's a yellow drop. And one of the drops actually... Yeah, jellyfish are cool, but they fuck my shit up in this game. Um, one of the yellow drops, which is very rare, actually uh, periodically spawns a beetle that fights for you. So those big ass purple zones, I want to kill and clear out whatever's inside there, but also I've got to be careful because I'll take damage from that from being inside there and all the creatures that are trying to kill me um, they fight each other as well so it kind of helps and they're not exactly squishy So I'm just going to try and shoot it from a, from a distance. But at some point I'm going to have to run in there. Okay, it's nice because I already found the teleporter. There's an enemy up there that's busy taking damage. I'm hoping he comes this way. I can't reach him up there right now. There he is. There we go. Okay, area's been cleared. I got quite a nice bit of cash from that. The only problem with this game, the only problem is it starts off so slow. And that's normally why I like the ability that um, doubles the enemies but halves their health. Okay, so we're going to grab another bleed. That hurt a lot, but it's worth it.
our health is going up very slowly, but it's okay because the moment we start attacking something, we should get our health back quickly. So, JJ, how many... Um, see, getting our health back relatively quickly. How many um, Twitch channels are you actually a fucking moderator on? Like 20 plus, but not many are active these days. Maybe like 7 or 8. That's still pretty decent though. I've done... Something in my formula has changed. And the reason why I'm saying that is because... There was a lot of interest and activity early on. When I started. It seems like now... Like nobody's watching anymore. I don't know if I've gone backwards on certain things. I don't know if the quality of the streams has dropped. Need to figure out how I'm going to recover. That's a red item. That's going to help. Uh, let's do this. All seems fine to you. Maybe it's a changing of games. I don't know. See, I don't want to be in a situation where I'm known as only a guy that plays... Oh, these are jellyfish, by the way. I don't want to be known for just playing one type of game. I want to be able to switch between all of it. But I understand that that's going to cause some people liking it and some people not liking it. But I mean, it's not like I could say that like my entire fan base was obtained through, um, my entire community was obtained through Path of Exile. Because I mean, the only person that I gained through Path of Exile really was uh, Maestro. True, and that's what I'm doing. Like I'm, I'm picking what I'm playing. I was in the mood for some risk of rain tonight. Last night I was in the mood for some... Well, speak of the devil. Siphon health from enemies, nearby enemies while in combat. That's helpful. Um, but like last night I was in the mood for PoE. Tonight I was in the mood for risk of rain. Just got to get those viewers in. But I'll continue to maintain what I'm doing. And hope that it's the, it's just the, it's just time. Because I mean, I don't think there's anywhere else that I'm, I can even think about advertising. Because I advertise on Twitch, uh, or, or on, on YouTube, or on Twitter, Twitch. It's going to be on Discord soon as well now. Maybe I should just start slapping my face on the streams as well. Attack speed's going up nice and quickly. That's what we wanted. 
add some more bleed because obviously the more bleed we've got the faster we can stack it the faster they will die makes sense right The bleed stacks nice and quick. We're getting there. We're definitely, definitely getting there. Start making my ass a little bit faster. Or maybe I do just need to start streaming the the tr games that are trending so JJ I'm going to give you a bit of an insight into my mind and how this beautiful absolute fucking mess up your works like in my mind I'm going okay if I follow the trends that everybody else is playing cool I'll be part of the trending category the problem is there's streamers that are bigger better and have got a much wider reach than what i do most people are going to go to them for their content i mean that makes sense right so it's like do i go for the niche games that not everybody's playing or do i go for the stuff that everybody's yeah So I found the teleporter. I'm not even sure on what like percentage I'm on. I'm just gonna have to keep going until it's told me that listen, yeah, I've got enough attack speed. I'm hoping it actually tells me that I've met it. Like you can audibly hear this thing is attacking a lot fucking faster. Okay, well, let's move on to the next area and see if we do better there. nice thing i can say because my attack speed is so high and i'm leeching damage per i'm leeching health per hit i'm actually getting back health relatively fucking quickly this might actually not be a bad build i stack the bleed ridiculously quickly i can just imagine what it's going to do at 200 percent It's only on a 40% bleed. Imagine I get it up to like 75 or 80% bleed. This could be very viable. I don't think it's going to carry through to the things that have got a lot of health. The bleed just ticks off too slowly. But it might get me a basis of a damage very quickly. That paired with a ukulele and maybe something like gasoline would be sexy.
Okay, maybe not as viable as what I would have wanted it to be. I made a fuck ton of money very quickly. But I either need the bleed to stack a lot faster. Or I need to approach this differently. And I always need to find chests. Okay, there's a chest right there. It's a red, which is amazing. Because that is going to give me the knives. Kill an enemy releasing homing daggers. Nice. We're going to grab some more bleed. Grab another ukulele. Attack speed. I don't think I'm gonna live to be able to, to reach the 200%. <laughs> Especially due to the fact that I've got zero health, but then again, I'm leeching so much health because of my attack speed. It might be viable, it might be, might not. I have to give it a bit to figure itself out. I need more chests. There's a chest up to my top left. And I know there's a red chest through there. Okay, we've got quite a couple of chests over here. One there, one there, one up there. And I think there's one on this edge as well, yeah. It's a green, so not ideal, but we'll take it for more life leeching. We'll take a bleed off of this one. And we'll take another attack speed off of this one. If it doesn't give us... There we go. Yeah, at this point, it's starting to get, like, very quick. And that should be it. Let's see how quickly this handles the boss. Where is the boss? There it is. So we're already up to 20 bleed, 26 bleed, 30 bleed, 40 bleed. There we go, boss is done. And let's grab another ukulele. That was decent. That was very, very nice. Okay, I think now we just need to get two more bleeds and the two more hoofs and the rest of it's all going to go into attack speed. I think at that point we'll be able to get to the 200% attack speed very quickly. And remember, I'm doing all of this just to unlock one item. There's a possibility that unknowingly I will unlock multiple items. But I'm literally doing all of this to unlock one item. Don't even know what the item is. Don't know what I'm going to get. I think I'm going to die if I drop down there. No, fuck it. No, it didn't die.
All right, so we're back onto this map. I don't actually want to be down yet. I want to go up. Can I go up? Yes. Thank you for sending me all the way up. No, you absolute dick. Well, that was unnecessary. Thank you. Okay, so we stack that bleed relatively quickly. And I just need... That's 160. We're good on that. Give me a yellow. Go for another bleed. Okay, so we're up to a 70% bleed chance. Yeah, that bleed stacks quickly. However, I'm noticing that not everything is susceptible to bleed. I know that was kind of scummy, but it's okay. Uh, what the fuck do I want now? Um, start adding some feathers just to make me bouncy. Do I want anything from this? There's nothing really that I want from here because this shit is all just. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, let's go down to the floor. What do you think of Risk Arrange so far, JJ? Is it the kind of game that you would have ever thought existed and would play? Or is it more one of those games that, okay, it's cool watching someone else play it, not really something you'd invest time and energy into? Okay. Not your own cup of tea or just too repetitive? Not your vibe. No, fair enough. That's the beauty about games. There's so many games out there that exist. I mean, there's a little bit of everything for everybody. Now, if Path of Exile is not your cup of tea, and this isn't your cup of tea, and that hypercharge was a little bit boring, which I can understand, what is something that you personally would like to see me play? Seeing all the different odd creatures is funny though, yeah. You preferred hypercharge, really? That's interesting. I was under the impression that you both hated it. 
Okay, shows you what happens. Either that or something like Skyrim. Oh. How would you feel about Borderlands? Fuck, why did I grab that? Sorry. Are you more into the games that have got like a story to it? Something like Skyrim, Fallout, Borderlands. Well, Borderlands doesn't really have a story to it. More like Skyrim, Fallout. Uh, Baldur's Gate, that kind of stuff. Okay, so you want something with a story. Okay, no, fair enough. So not just constant action, actually a story that a, that a group can follow. Okay, okay, I can respect that. Like, you're not going to believe me. I actually have two deleted streams that I started, I did. That was in the early days where I was not happy with... It was before Maestro, before anybody. Before I think I had like one follower at that point. And I actually had two Skyrim streams. Destroy 20 flying rocks. You see, I unlocked an item without even knowing that I did. Um, I actually did a Skyrim stream. I went with a battle mage, so it was destruction and one-handed with heavy armor. I don't know, something just didn't feel right about it for me. Now, I don't know if that's just because the game was too old for my likings, or if it just felt like it was a big commitment to a big game that's not going to have a very big player base. Like, I can't tell you why I didn't like it, or why I cancelled it, or didn't go through with it. It's just something didn't sit right. Yeah, and that's how I started feeling with Path of Exile, because, I mean, if you have a look at how many streams I've done... Like a good 90% of them are all Path of Exile. So I wanted to, while I'm still going to obviously be focusing on Path of Exile quite a bit, I don't want that to become my base. So that's why I started bridging over to Deep Rock Galactic and Hypercharge and Risk of Rain. Now that I know that you're looking for a story, I might lean towards something like that. Maybe grab something a little bit newer than Skyrim. I personally loved Fallout 4, but that's obviously just as old. What is a modern game that's more recent than Skyrim and Fallout that's got a pretty decent story to it that runs along this a similar vibe? Obviously there's Red Dead Redemption 2, that's obvious. I've never played Baldur's Gate. There's Helldivers too. But that's not as much of a story. That's more so just the... Once again, a whole bunch of fucking action. There we go. Reach 200% attack speed. So I got... Whatever the fuck that is on top. Okay, Horizon Zero Dawn. That is true. I don't think I've ever played Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, quick thing. You see this thing? Shrine of the Mountain. So as you can see, it's done. Nothing really. Okay, it spawned like shitty little creatures. 
so normally in the um the teleport event it only spawns one boss look what's gonna happen now now i don't really care if i die right now because i've achieved what i wanted to i've got the 200 percent attack speed but let's see how quickly it handles it i just need to find the teleporter again but going back to what you said yeah horizons you're doing i don't th i've never played it that's the thing where it's you're playing as that red haired chicky and she uses like primitive weapons against like techie techie creatures and shit like that right indeed gotcha i actually haven't played that so that black bubble that was formed around that thing is an instant kill if you're inside it um i've played it a little but not thoroughly oh, so it might be something that we can experience together Okay, let's do the boss fight and then I'll show you how many bosses are going to spawn now. Because of that Shrine of the Mountain thing. One, two, three. And it's the hardest fucking boss. With those lasers track. Like lasers. Well, it is a laser, but it's pinpoint accurate. It does not miss. Okay, there's enough bleed stacked on those. Oh, there's four of them. But the nice thing is when you do that, look, and I get two drops. So grab another ukulele, grab another one of this. That's good. I'm just going to let myself die because, yeah. I'm not really bothered with what happens right now. These things are struggling to kill me and I'm not even fighting back right now. They're killing themselves on me. Wow. I'm beating waves and I'm not even trying. That's interesting. Okay. Run to the next area and try and go kill myself. It was shitty little enemies at the end, so I'll just run to the big boys. The further you progress along... Yeah, I can hear there's already a big guy. Yeah, you can shoot me. You're going to do a lot more damage. But look. Look how he damages me. Whenever he damages me, the bleed stacks on him as well. He killed himself on me. Okay, is there a way that I can speed this along? That's one. That's two. Please tell me there's some kind of achievement for doing this. Can you not kill yourself from full damage? You can't kill yourself from full damage. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, so the thing that killed me was Beetle. And I got cleanup duty and rapid fire. Now, the next thing that is shit is I can't exactly see what it did for me. There it is, because I have to equip it for the first time to see what it actually does. So what that would mean is I'd have to go into another run, grab another item, start the run all over again, hopefully get a green one soon.
that is probably going to be a green one. So I'm going to run to that one. The bigger the chest, the better chance of it being a red or a green. I need 50 to unlock this. Please be green. Please be green. Yes, it is. That was it. Critical strikes increase attack speed. Stacks three times. Well, that means I'm going to be ridiculously fast. But now that I've done that, I can just quit the menu. And now we can have a look at what it does. The critical strike increases your attack speed by 12% to a maximum cap of 36%. Plus 24% per stack. Yeah, so 12, 24, 36. So I get a 36% increased attack speed if I land critical strikes. So that paired with this. So this doesn't say that there's a cap. So this doesn't say that there's a cap. So this, your attacks have a 10% chance to critically strike dealing double damage. So if I grab 10 of these, that's 100% critical strike, right? That's how maths works. So that means every single shot will be critical. So if I've got 10 lens makers and one of these, because I only need one because obviously it's got a cap of 36, so carrying two of them is not going to increase the cap at all. So that means with... 10 glasses, I get a 100% guaranteed crit chance every single time. With this, my critical chance means my attack speed goes up by 12%. Meaning if I'm wearing one of these and I've got 10 glasses, it basically offsets needing one of these because this thing increases my attack speed by 15%. But this, however, stacks up to a max of 36%. So if I'm constantly killing enemies... And there's a stack. It doesn't say how long it is or what the cooldown is on it. Take my 12%, max 36, 24 per stack, attack speed. Okay, maybe it's permanent. But regardless, that 36% cap means that that will replace two of these. Is it worth it? That doesn't seem worth it, right? That more so would come into play if you don't have access to the command the artifact of command that allows me to choose that's weird though and you see the coffee increases attack speed by 7.5 percent per stack so this is attack speed and movement speed so it will actually be better to grab coffees instead of boots and syringes because one coffee gives me half of that and half of that. Instead of me having to grab one of those items and one of those items. Now obviously, independently, one carries 14, one carries 15. So basically this cuts it nicely down the middle, 7.5. So instead of stacking syringes and then separately stacking hooves, just keep stacking coffees. Because this doesn't say it's got a cap to it either. Normally if something's got a cap, it tells you. I think. Yeah, like this one. The armor plate. Reduce all incoming damage by 5. So that means if you've got enough of this, the cap on this means cannot reduce below 1. Meaning the absolute maximum damage that you can take if you've maxed out this is 1 damage. Deal 75 per stack enemies. Damage to enemies above 90% health. That's interesting. The soda sprint speed is improved by 25%. So that's just your sprint. So the soda is not really relevant. Because once again, the coffee covers all of that. 
two seconds after getting hurt heal for 20 plus an additional five percent of maximum health that could be good to have instead of this no but you see the bustling fungus is good because the bustling fungus if you stand still let me show you this actually one of the most powerful characters in this game the engineer this guy is ridiculous because everything that you pick up applies to your turrets as well so check it out so i run around first of all i get a shield on top of that i can put down no, wrong one it's there we go that's one that's two i put down two turrets they're gonna shoot everything around me i just basically need to stand still now obviously as you can see i am very slow but that means Oh, and don't try and shoot with this thing. It's useless. It shoots these little bouncy balls. It's horrible. It's disgusting. So that means I stand here. When I grab this thing, if I grab one of these funguses, if I put down a new turret after one second, look what's on my turret. The fungus as well. So that means these turrets, because these turrets are stationary items, that means if I stack enough of these along with my shield... I mean, I'm permanently healing, as you can see. Nothing's doing damage inside my shield. And the turrets, because they're stationary items, heal me consistently. You can understand why this build becomes ridiculously overpowered after a while. And remember, the attack speed applies as well. Everything that applies to me applies to my turrets. So, bleed, attack speed, everything. Now I put down this, I drop this, I grab this, let's pick up the attack speed. Now, obviously, the only thing is it doesn't apply to stuff that's already on the ground. You have to place a new one down for any pickups that you've got to apply. And then obviously we can throw down mines. That's a nice thing. I can effectively just leave them everywhere I go. And that's where the magazine comes into play. Because the magazine... So let's put down this. Drop this. So they obviously shooting faster now. It's shooting everything around me. The most OP character in this game. Drop that. Drop another one of those. And I can make it even more OP. Dealing damage heals you. And now I just stay between the turrets. Now, obviously, as you can see, we are pretty fucking slow. One big side effect. Pick up one of these. Grab the attack speed. I'm going to pick up one more. See if I can't grab another attack speed. I uh, kept making the mistake. I told myself I'm going to grab the coffees instead. Now, if I put this thing down, look how much faster he shoots. And I can protect it by dropping down the shield and putting down another turret. And I can run off and do my things because maybe falling asleep gonna head out. See you tomorrow. Well, Judge, have a lovely evening further. Thank you very much for the support, man. I really do appreciate it. I really appreciate having you guys here in the evenings. It means a lot. Get some rest. See you tomorrow. And I hope you have a good day. I'll continue to stream and hopefully pick up some more viewers. If not, at least I'm still having fun while doing it. I 
that's the most important thing, right? Yeah. We will make a success of this. Yes, we will. Okay, let's put down a new turret, a new turret, put down the shield, start the event. Very simple, very easy. I actually get my movement speed sorted out. It's a gold shrine. I need that. Not enough for that. There we go, that was enough. Got a green, 
And from the green, we want... <laughs> you know what, fuck it, let's grab one of the wisp. Let's get out of here. Me with my Mach 5 fucking speed. This is gonna hurt. It's okay. the laziest, most bitchiest way of playing this, but... It works, it works, right? Can't complain about the things that work. I've basically got that thing as a gatekeeper protecting my ass. It's healing itself, it's healing me. Just gotta make sure I'm not picking up any kind of... Um... Overclock for it or alterate them. Oh, what do you call it? Is it an alteration mod? Is it a normal mod? Fuck knows. I'm gonna grab one of the big ones because it's a nice boost in speed. And then whatever else we can find along the way. I think we can put one, yeah. Let's put one there. Now yeah, we're good to go with that. It's gonna give me a green. A green. I think let's go with another ukulele. We've got two now. Let's see if there's any more chests around here. What does this do? I will take... Fuck knows, actually. Take that, I guess. And let's start the event. Boss is dead. Just like that. And now we can go with a...
It's that simple. I just stand here. So while that's busy auto fighting the entire fight for me. No new subscribers, no new followers. That's busy doing its thing. to the next area. I did not mean to select that. There's a chest there. What am I missing? And this is the part that sucks about the early days. <laughs> I need to maybe think about getting the artifact that gets double enemies. Oh wait, I actually got cash. Very right, cool. That's a green. Go for more. Dealing damage heals. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Beetle, you can come to me. Another red. I don't know what this does. Killing them permanently increases your maximum health up to 100. Let's do turn invisible at low health. Okay, at this point I'm just learning. At least I know where the teleporter is. It's on the island. Okay, let's put this down. So you can cover me. We'll run across to that side, see if there's anything there. What I can actually do is put a nice little spread. Seriously, one of the most boring but most overpowered characters in the game, in my personal opinion. It fucks up everything really quickly. I need to seriously get some movement speed. My ass is slow as fuck. Okay, nothing over here. That thing is busy killing off something in the distance. That's just killing stuff over here. And let's drop down to the next level. There's a chest over here. Let's see if I can't get a hoof out of this. Actually, let's go with more bleed. Because I'm on 40% bleed right now, so that should be good. It's 
Let's make my way over to the island. Can I get there from here? Don't die, don't die, don't die. I'm good. Let's grab another Will of the Wisp. That means I've got two. Two Euclid, two Will of the Wisps. Yeah. I'm looking about as decent as I can be. Maybe one more attack speed, if it gives me that. Like I'm getting everything I don't want to. That worked, I guess. Are there any more chests around you that I really want? I don't like this area though. <sighs> Let's make my life easy. Put down, put down, start fight, drop my shield down. Okay, boss is dead, so that it's something right. Uh what's something else I can grab that I don't normally grab? Uh what's the book do? Don't ask a kill, drop a treasure. Why do I want treasure? Basically, as soon as they spawn in, they die. I should have gone through that instead. I could have got myself a game golden. That was my own stupidity. Light him up, boys. Thank you. Okay, I've got quite a bit of cash. So let's start getting these boxes. First one, attack speed. Second one, bleed. Third one, we need to start on the crits. Found the teleporter. Definitely made a lot of money very quickly.
Okay, all the chests. Okay, we want to get some more bleed. We want to grab some more health. Grab another fungus. I'm not going to stick around to deal with your shit, thank you very much. That was not what I wanted, but we got it now. Yeah, that thing can probably deal with that thing all on his own. I thought that was maybe gold. I duped that gold. Don't judge me. Sixty percent bleed chance, that's good. And to start getting the rest of the stuff to complement it. What do we start with next? Do we go with a bit more attack speed? Yeah, let's go with a bit more attack speed. And then after that, I think we need to go with some cooldown. We grab one of those. And an extra some secondary skill. Okay, so that's secondary, because that's that. That's useless to me. Just now I know what that does, and I know it's useless to me, and now I don't have to bother with it any further. You go there, you go there. So the shield runs out with 10 seconds left to spare. Which is obviously not ideal. Uh, what does this do? There's an equipment charge. Okay, so that's the equipment charge. That's a fuel cell. Move. 
I love the engineer because of what it can do. It's just... It starts off so fucking boring. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, that might be a good thing to do. A good bit of amount of cash could come from that. Definitely gonna spend one there. That way we're gonna get the teleporter. That way we can go get my get gold. Hold on. I need to test something. Um, let's go ray to artifacts. Which artifact gave me the double enemies at half the health? Friendly fire is enabled. When one player dies, everybody dies. Monsters can appear outside the user environments. Uh, spawn with random equipment. Monsters gain items between stages. Full damage is doubled and lethal. Allies deal 500% more damage but have 10% health. So that's the artifact of glass. Makes your glass cannon. Pretty straightforward. Enemies can only spawn as elites. Monsters will be only one type per stage. Artifact of kin. That's not a horrible... Players always spawn as a random survivor. No. So I want the artifact of sacrifice. So that is the monsters drop the items on death. But chests no longer spawn. Wisps emerge. Enemies drop multiple equipment. As doubled but monsters maximum health is off. So I want the artifact of swarms and the artifact of sacrifice. Okay. Now the question is. Frailty, kin, metamorphosis, sacrifice. Uh, it's not affected by cleave flavor. That okay. So sacrifice. Where do I get sacrifice? Um. Okay, so artifact of sacrifice. Artifact of sacrifice. There we go. It's all triangles except for the middle one is the square. Okay. Let's finish off the stage. Get some level ups. And then go do the Artifact of Sacrifice. Let's grab one of these. I don't have it, it might just help with my movement speed right now. Right now my ass is slow, but the nice thing is the event where the artifacts take place is very small. So if I put a turret on either side, I'll basically be covered. It stacks that bleed real quick. And I can imagine if there's two of them lighting you the fuck up. Your ass ain't surviving very quickly. So I've got the money, I need the chests. Time to find the chests, and then I can go down and do the sacrifice artifact. 
And I know normally this map gives quite a couple of chests. Normally. There's two chests right there. A big chest, so that's potentially going to be a red or a green. A red. Nice. This helps me massively. And I think on this, I'm going to take the crown. That sucks. So I was hit by a rock. On this, let's go for some more gasoline. And I know I'm starting to get to the point where it is very hard, which is obviously not what we want. And then we do want that as well. Stack that bleed. Fuck his shit up. Thank you, good sir. I want to go upstairs now to the top levels and see if there aren't chests up there that I missed. I can already see one on the far side that I missed. There's a chest right here. Let's grab some more bleed chance. So that's 7%. The chest over there. There's more cash there if I need it, but I'm good on cash right now. What we want to do now is start going into our criticals. Because if I can start hitting consistent criticals with these things as well, I'm already stacking the bleed. Now we just need to do them critical damage. I think I'm going to go spend a lot of money on that shrine. Let's grab another ukulele. Let's grab another critical. Okay, so that's all that that allowed me to grab. Let's see if there's anything out here for me. There's another chest. That's a green, so we're going to grab another Will of the Wisp. Four ukuleles. Three Will of the Wisps. That was a tongue twister for some reason. And that is everything we wanted. Okay. Okay, now I want to drop down all the way to the bottom levels. Which means I kind of wasted the um, Luna coin that I had. That's okay. I did not see this here. I think let's grab another heal. I don't need to do so many shrines, that's starting to become a bit excessive. Now I just want to drop down here. And it is all triangles except for the bottom middle one. Don't die, please don't die, thank you. Okay, so it is... One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And this should be the shrine of the sacrifice. Okay, let's see how quickly this goes. I'm either going to die, and then the stream ends. Or we can run right through and see if we can't take this build a little bit further than what it's currently going. The bulwark Ambry. Okay, so first things first. Put you right on the edge. Let's 
secondly, we put you right there. Now we've got the turrets covering just about everything. And let's get the event started. Come on. I don't know why I keep doing that. I keep forgetting I don't actually have a double jump with this character. I've got a jump. Let's grab that. All I'm looking for now is the yellow. Glasses. I've only got three so far. I need at least another four. Oh, come on. Luckily, my health comes back relatively quickly. All I actually need to do is just stand in this for a few seconds, and I'm good. But my concern is, where is the yellow key that I need? Because I don't know how to actually get up onto those top levels. There we go, there's a jump pad. Come on, where the hell is the the next key? I can't kill these things by just normal means. They have to physically drop the key. And in order for that to happen, are you gonna drop the key? Nope, you didn't drop no key. Am I ever gonna take you? Because my ass needs to be faster. Still no yellow key anyway. Any one of you gonna give me a key? Nope. If I jump off this fucking platform one more time. Just heal myself. Just hide here for a second. Heal and heal and heal and heal and try and figure out. Is 
You didn't tell me it's actually up there. Okay, at this point, I don't know what's going on. I was supposed to have gotten the key by now. Wait, can I not do an artifact with an artifact active? No, but that doesn't sound right. They gave me the first key, so I don't understand why they would block me the second time. Still nobody has locked the next key. It must mean something. If the key still hasn't dropped, it must mean that either I can't do it with an artifact active. Hold on. Uh, artifacts. Find a common artifact to play and must input an artifact code. Yeah, flow map, interact with laptop, a portal to the child begins, the combat of inputs. Square circle, whatever. Yeah, I thought it was charged. The only attempt would be active. Connect to center node active. Whether enabled, start it or run. Was spawn on an elevated block in front of the unknown. The player must pick up the key and then interact with the regularly, which will cause the monsters to start spawning. Or drop and killed monsters using artifact key will remove them from all players' inventories, preventing players from hoarding keys. Upon destroying the artifact, the artifact can be taken and the portal to a first stage will appear. You see, now that's just it. Okay, so it's not blocking me. I'm just having shit luck. Nobody's dropping the key. Unless I'm missing something. Potentially farm a magic fuck ton of stuff in you, but what does that do? Get delivery that contains powerful items. There we go. There's the yellow one. That's what I needed. Take that. We'll take some more movement speed, and we'll take. Uh, you know what? Let's start throwing missiles into the mix. First things first, let's put down a new turret. And let's put the next turret right there. Got an orange. I don't know what this does. Super leech. No. Oh, let's go back to this. There's the next key. Okay, so it looks like for some reason in the beginning it just got stuck for a bit. And then decided, fuck it, I want to do all of it at once. So there's that one. One more key needed. And then artifact of the sacrifice is done.
Okay, so there aren't enemies spawning right now. So maybe the last key is already out. I just didn't see it. Okay, so the last key is definitely not around here. Well done to that chicken. Chicken? Wow. Yes, because that's what a chicken looks like. Fuck sakes. I'm smart. Like, I really promise I am smart. I know what the shit I'm saying. It really doesn't come across like... There we go. That's exactly the last key that I needed. You... You can give me more fungus. You... I'll take another critical glasses. That was the last boss done. Now we can go to the center. Complete the trial of sacrifice. Thank you. Okay, Tyler's sacrifice is done. We're looking a lot better. Level 16. Let's start owning this shit. My turrets are pretty OP right now. I think we're going to put one over here as well. Create a field of fuck you. She's looking good. Uh, what does the rest of them do? What does the gold one do? Reduce incoming damage while sprinting. Useless for me, kind of. My build basically requires me to stand dead still. There's gold over there. How much gold does it actually pick up now? So I've got 160, 380. That's not bad. Not when the shit gives you nothing. Okay, on to the next area. You can go there. You can go there. Light that bitch up, son. Thank you. Say this, grab another critical. Dump this down. Kill myself up. Take the modifier, which is. Uh, I didn't want any of these. It's okay, we'll take the glasses. Actually, no, we're not gonna take that at all. some more glasses there's another chest down there glasses were on six one more never mind we'll take shurikens okay you can be placed here because you are effectively where we're gonna end off i don't know what's inside there i've never been in there uh, i want some more movement speed I don't think I've ever been inside yet. It does not look familiar, but there's no chest, so I'm not interested. So bucket, and we start the event.
And that's how we deal with that shit quick, quick. Turn on the ukulele again. If I move this one and place it there, I get th oh, I only get two charges. About to say I only get two. I stand there. Look at that healing. Where's the closest shrine? Because I'm building up a lot of cash. And just like last time, we are standing basically dead, still doing nothing. That's the power of the engineer. Finish charging that up with zero monsters remaining on the stage. Seemed easy enough. Okay, now the question is, was there a... Take my money shrine anywhere close by? There's one over there. I think I've already hit that once. Let's go check. It's not gonna give me shit. It's not gonna give me shit. It's gonna give me something. Let's go with more heals. Hey, it's gonna give me something again. What else can I do? What does this actually do? Drop a healing orb on kill. Why not? It's not like I don't have enough healing at the moment. Ah, there's another one. Take my money. Grab a hoof. Nothing. Take another one. Grab another hoof. And I'm broke. Is that a golden one? I took a lot of my health. That's okay. I don't think I'll have the money to use this. Nope. Here's the chest. It's that. We don't have an icon. What does the hook do? Killing enemy gives you a burst of movement speed. Okay, let's get some attack speed in there now. Start attack stacking those syringes heavily. So good. It is so good. We're gonna go with attack speed. Go with more attack speed. You can just follow me. Thank you. Light you the fuck up. So, how did that go for you? What did we learn? Find the teleporter. Grab some more attack speed. Okay, bleed I'm on seven, critical I'm on six. So let's grab another.
Including Sprint. Yes. Just do. Reduce damage the first time you are hit. Eh, it's okay. Uh, what does this do? Rapidly heal outside of danger. Eh, I just got a standstill and I'm good on that. Anything I want to grab over here? Any chests? Nope, I'm good. On to the next place. My one turret is down. Other turret is down. Start the event. Throw it on my shield. And there it did. I haven't seen any take my money shrines. Funnily enough. Interesting. Definitely take one of those. Actually not, this is stage 8. Wasted another coin. We're gonna obliterate ourselves after this. Take it, son. Hold on to this. Watch, 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 watch. You can take one as well. I'm not even going to bother searching too long or... Fucking around trying to get upgrades. I know I've got enough here to be able to deal with it. I found the teleporter. Let's go to the teleporter. I'm into the ha 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 ha. Oh, I'll just make that for me.
stuffs. No stuffs. That's the blue portal. Uh, celestial portal. That's what I want. Blue portal takes me to the moon place. Not what I want. That is not what I'm trying to achieve. So we got this individual through to the racing stage, and that is still why I stick by my guns of engineer is the most OP class. In risk rain, by far. Simply because everything that I've got applies to my turrets as well. Including falling to my death. Why? Why is my double jump not recharging? Something is amiss and I nearly killed myself there. Let's do this the old school way. Jump to there. Jump to there. Onto that. Onto that. Really gonna force me to do this the old school way. Fucking hell. Oh my god, I was about to cry. But yeah, this is why it's just it's overpowered. Everything that applies to me applies to my sentry guns. That on top of the fact that I can drop a shield. Plus my mines. Yeah. Everything that comes close to me gets fucked. Like, absolutely wrecked. And there's a successful obliteration. And what did we unlock? Trial of the Sacrifice? That is what we were aiming for. We got the zero sum from the engineer. And then we've got the quails. That means we now go to... The loadout, instead of having a shield, we've got harpoons. Keep ticking harpoons that deal 500% damage. Nope, the shield will always win. And I think now that we've got the quail, I can't see what it does yet because we haven't finished, officially picked it up yet. Yep, just like I thought. Alright, now we're going to start focusing on the rest of the shit. One of them being complete three combat shrines in a single stage. Defeat 500 elite monsters. I should be there soon. Required death. What? Discover the hidden chamber in the abandoned aqueduct. Complete the prismatic trial. Should be simple. Discover the hidden chamber. Activate six turrets in a single run. Oh, that's also pretty easy. I can do that with an engineer. It's literally what I live to do. And then charge a teleporter with less than 10% health. That I can do if I switch to the glass cannon. Defeat an elite boss on monsoon difficulty. Then find the altar of Nakuna. Complete 20 stages in a single run. Uh, discover and activate 8 unique newt altars. Kill 20 hermit crabs by chasing them off the edge of the map. Escape the moon on monsoon difficulty. Carry 5 lunar items in a single run. Defeat the unique guardian on the gilded coast without any beacons Acti deactivated. Ooh, that's going to be difficult. Collect 10 monsters or environmental logs. I should be close to that. I think I've got a few already. Repair 30 drones of turrets. That will come with time. Die 20 times. I've probably gotten close to that. Fully upgrade a shrine of the woods. 
Hmm. Die three times while burning. I haven't done that once yet. Defeat the teleporter bosses after activating two shrines of the mountain. Oh, so you basically want me to fight two, four, maybe six bosses all at once. Definitely not hard. That was sarcasm. And then open the time security chest on rail point delta. You see, that means I've got to get there within under 10 minutes. And that's hoping that the map has got it in that rotation. That could be a bit difficult. Okay, but I think that is going to be it for me for this evening. Thank you very much to everybody who joined the live stream. I really do appreciate it. Um, I am going to ask that if you enjoyed the stream or if you're enjoying the content, to please help us grow the channel. Share it on all your social media, social media platforms and just spread the word as much as you can to help grow this little community. For those of you that are not aware, all of my past live streams will be posted onto my YouTube channel. Just in case you were not able to attend the live, you can always go and watch it for your own viewing pleasure. But thank you very much for joining this evening. Now, have a lovely day and or evening, depending on where you are from. Look after yourselves, be safe, and I'll see you next time.